Hello and welcome to Kids Church for the week of March 8th, 2021. My name is Pastor Marissa Becklin and I am the pastor at Faith United Evangelical Lutheran Church in Denver, Pennsylvania. And I'm so glad to have you with us for Kids Church today, whether you're from our church or whether you're from the community, we welcome you and we're glad to have you with us. Uh, today we are reading a story from the Spark Story Bible. And we're reading a story called the Ten Commandments. And that is because this is the Old Testament story that we heard in church yesterday. And so we're going to spend some time learning about the Ten Commandments and wondering about what they can mean for our life. <clears throat> so this is the Ten Commandments. The Israelites were on their way to the land God had promised them. It was a long way. With God watching over them, the men, women, and children walked and walked and walked over the hot, dry land. When they got tired and needed rest, they would set up tents and camp together under the stars. While they were camping at the bottom of a mountain called Mount Sinai, something incredible happened. On the morning of the third day that they were there, a dark cloud covered the mountain. Crash, boom, bang, lightning and thunder filled the sky. The people were afraid. Suddenly, the voice of God called Moses. God asked Moses to climb to the top of the mountain. So Moses grabbed his walking stick and climbed up, up, up. So here's a picture and you can see all the people, they look pretty afraid. There are those, their tents over there. And then you can see Moses way up there on the mountain and you can see all the thunder and lightning too. When he got to the top of the mountain, God spoke. God said, Moses, listen up. I have important rules for you and the people to live by. You can turn to this list to know how to love God and each other. Do your best to follow this list. It won't be easy but I am with you and I love you. Then God gave Moses a list of 10 special rules called the commandments. They were, I am God and the only God. Honor me above all other things and people. There are no other gods for you, only me. My name is special. Don't use it with bad words or mean talk. Take a day of rest each week. Call it the Sabbath and make it a special day for God. Show your mom, dad, and others who take care of you love and respect. Don't hurt others with your words or actions. If you get married, you must be loyal to your husband or wife. Don't take things that aren't yours. <clears throat> Tell only the truth about your family, friends, and even those you do not know. Be happy with what you have. Don't wish for things that other people have. So here's a picture. And you see how there are two big stones, and these are the, the commandments written on the stones. That's how Moses got them. God gave Moses two tablets, so pieces of rock shaped like this. And the commandments were written on them so that the people could look back and remember them when they needed help remembering. And with that, the dark cloud went away. Moses walked down, down, down the mountain. The people were still scared from the dark clouds and thunder. But Moses said, don't be afraid. God has given us special rules to teach us how to live together in peace. Moses told the people about God's rules, and they did their best to follow them. <clears throat> Here's a picture of Moses holding those tablets with the commandments on them. And now he's back with his friends, and they look a little scared still, but he's ready to tell them about these new rules that will help them live in peace with each other and with God. So my first question for you today is, which of the Ten Commandments is the easiest for you to follow and why? And then my other question is, which one is the hardest to follow and why? And then last, how can you 
help, support, and share with the people that you are with? How can you help support them in following the commandments? How can you help them follow the commandments? And how can they help you follow the commandments? Okay. Let us pray. Good and gracious God, we give you thanks for this day. We give you thanks for the love that you have sent to us in your son, Jesus Christ. And we give you thanks for the ways that you want us to live in peace with each other and with you. Thank you for the Ten Commandments as they help us understand what it takes to live in peace. God, as we struggle to keep the commandments, please help us. Give us strength and patience and love and forgiveness. In your name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you have a good day, a good week, and I will see you again here next week, same time and same place. God's peace.